Welcome to the February 2020 Oil and Gas Activity Report from TCI Business Capital. The Baker Hughes Rig Count Report shows 790 active drilling rigs in the U.S. as of February 14th. The oil rig count is 678 rigs, and the gas rig count is 110. One year ago, the total active land rig count was 1,051. Oil rigs are down 179, and gas rigs are down 84 compared to the February 2019 counts. In the major plays, the Permian Basin rig count is at 408 rigs. This count is up five rigs from one month ago, but down 65 rigs from one year ago. The Texas Railroad Commission reports the number of oil well completions in the Permian for January was 474, with 296 being new oil well completions. The number of original drilling permits issued for the Permian in January was 559. 520 of these are new drilling permits. In East Texas, the Eagle Ford Shale is at 70 active rigs, up one rig from the January count. The Haynesville Shale rig count is at 41 rigs, down four from one month ago. The Anadarko rig count is 50, which is a decrease of three rigs since the January count. In the Rockies, the active rig count in the Niobrara Shale is 44 rigs. The count is down two rigs over the last month. The Bakken Shale rig count is 53 rigs, the same as the January count. And the Appalachian has 49 active rigs, down two rigs from the January count. In the oil markets, WTI closed at 51.58 on February 14th. Since closing at 58.58 on January 20th, prices have steadily declined to a low of 49.61 on February 4th. One year ago, WTI sold at 57.16. According to Hard Energy, coronavirus fears along with low demand and high oil supplies are keeping prices stagnant. To stay current on news and information in the oil industry, visit both the Oilfield News page and Oilfield blog page at tcicapital.com. For more than 25 years, TCI Business Capital has provided working capital and financing to oilfield service companies through our invoice factoring programs. For information on our custom factoring solutions for oilfield contractors, give us a call at 800 707 4845 or visit tcicapital.com.